Hi, this is Arvid from Permanent Link. Let me show you how you can quickly set up links for your ebooks that work even when the original sources of your links stop working. It really only takes two steps within Permanent Link to make this happen. First, you need to set up a project, and then from within that project, you need to add your link, and then you can use it. Let's do that. I have a book that I'm writing that's called Audience First. Let's create that as a project. Let's type audience first. It's going to create this URL fragment automatically and we can create it. So now we have the project, but it's empty. To add a link, you just have to add a new link. Now it asks for URL. Let's actually take this article of 1000 true fans that I want to link in my book, copy the URL and go back into permanent link and paste it. Will automatically create a little URL fragment. You can adjust that to whatever you like the URL to be. And it will use adaptive linking, which means that while the original website is still working, it will use that website. And if it stops, it will use an archived version. Let's create that link and then see what happens. Right now, you can see here's the link permanent.link to audience first, a thousand true fans. Let's copy that and paste it. Now it automatically and quickly redirects to that website. So what would happen if the URL did break, if that website went down? We can simulate that here at this point, just for you to see, force redirection and save changes. So now this is considered to be a link that's not working anymore, at least the original source. The permanent link is still the same, but at this point it automatically redirects to the web archive with a copy of this that was actually mirrored yesterday. So it's a very recent copy and we'll always pick the most recent copy available. So now you have a link that works either way. If the original website is there, then it'll go there. And if it breaks, then it will use the archived version, but it still has permanent link in the URL. What were to happen if you wanted to actually use your own branding? Let's turn this back into a functional link at this point and then make sure that you can add your own domain. So we go to the project, we edit the project and down here you can use a custom domain. Let's click use a custom domain and then go into the DNS records of the domain that we want to use for the project. I'm using audiencefirst.link where my landing page for the book is hosted and here I have a redirection subdomain that I've already pointed to permanent link. So we add that in this custom domain field. We choose a, dom a custom domain link style, which changes the way your permanent links look. Save this. You will see that in a second what I mean. And then we copy this link again, open it in a new window. And you see now redirect.audiencefirst.link slash a thousand true fans with HTTPS. So it's an encrypted connection. Click on it and we immediately go to the article that you want your readers to see. And that's how easy it is to put permanent links into your eBooks that will work even after this blog or any other blog breaks down or moves to another domain or is abandoned. You don't have to care because permanent link will take care of that for you.